Howdy homeowners, we're in the attic of a home built in 2020. We're looking at the attic trusses. As I've said in other videos, attic trusses are an engineered product. They should not be cut or altered in any way without re-evaluation by either the truss manufacturer specialist or a structural engineer. Here we have a unique situation. We have a whole series of trusses, pretty standard. We have some fink trusses, piggyback trusses on top. We get over here, we have a room in the attic, so we got room in attic trusses, but we have a series of these four trusses, starting here, one, two, three, four, and actually five, I think, where it's a different style. It's kind of a combination of Fink and King Post, couple things going on. Very custom trusses, but I guess the top cord was at the wrong level. This is the top cord right here of the truss, but it was too low, so they came in and added above it two by six for these four or five trusses. One, two, three, four. I guess it is four trusses. And this goes all the way from the front porch all the way up over here to about the center of the, um, of the attic. And they raised and supported that two by six with subflooring, which is pretty thick laminate flooring, laminated flooring, but it, uh, you know, again, you, you changed it. So I'm going to have to have someone come out here and evaluate this. Luckily, it doesn't look like the, the roof has moved any. When I was out walking on it, no signs of dip or sags or softness, nothing like that, which is good. But again, this home's only a couple years old, so who knows how this is going to act as time goes on. So Fortunately, someone's going to have to come out here and take a look at this. You know, if they deem additional repairs need to be done, uh, yikes, this is pretty extensive.